it's a good afternoon. Um, I think it must be about one o'clock or something like that. I actually slept in bed until <laughs> I think about midday or something. Because um, I did spend most of the night awake. But anyway, such is such as life and the recovery from colds and whatnot, you know. Um, it's definitely moved up away from my chest now, which I'm very, very grateful for. And it's moved into my head. <laughs> Best place for it. Um, so I still sound a bit hoarse, you know, when I cough. And uh, I also feel a wee bit weak and all the rest of it. But look, there's no point in going on about it, you know. Uh, the old saying, you know, worse things happen at sea, which is very true. So, I have to come out in order just to make sure that Jack has a wee dander, you see, because he won't go walkies at all. Unless, look, you see him looking back at me. He won't go walkies at all unless I'm out here with him, walking. So, and I've lit the stove in there. <coughs> You laugh when you hear what I've been doing over the past half hour. I've been out in the barn jigsawing up an old wooden pallet, which of course makes great firewood, as well as wood for other projects, mind you, because I used some pallet wood um, in the construction of uh, um, the new bedroom, you know, or should I say Nick used that, but uh, recycled wherever possible. Well, firstly, there's a, a, a bit of a storm coming in. don't know the name of this storm. They all have different names. Anyway, whatever he or she is called, it's on its way. And uh, then apparently, I think it's from later on tonight, <coughs> it's going to get very cold. It's going to drop below, I think, minus minus three or something. It's going to go below that. That's centigrade. So, just made sure that I've got plenty of wood anyway. So like I say, I've been jigsawing up and I'll jigsaw up a bit more. So I'm just, see little Jack's down there look, looking up at me. Jack, come here. <coughs> Let me see if I can whistle. Oh, not bad. Obviously, you can whistle with a sore throat, but it's not too sore, really. So, <clears throat> just dandering down now to collect the mail, if there is any mail in the box. And look, I've got my coffee. I always step out with my coffee, because it's, um, it's a little bit of a naughty treat, you know. Now, I receive hundreds of emails um, hundreds of emails, I suppose each month, but a, a weekly I would receive uh, probably about a hundred and twenty hundred and fifty. So you will understand if I don't respond to emails. I don't have any of those automatic response things set up. I don't know how to do that. Um, if you ever get a response from me via email, you know like when you buy a book or a map, that's just a wee cut and paste thing that I put in and then I put in my own words on the top of it. So I try to make them personal. But um, I would spend, you know, two or three hours every morning on the laptop just reading through emails and stuff like that. I do read them. I do read them. And I've received lovely emails. And I've also received a lot of letters. And forgive me if I don't respond to those. Just can't do it. I would need to have um, 
I would need to have two or three secretaries to get through all this. <coughs> Jack? Oh, he's gone in amongst the trees. Beautiful. <sighs> really is lovely just to step out. I feel so blessed. And I see further and further in among the trees. Just lovely. Jack! Come on. So it's been, it's been quite hard for me being laid low over the past week. Because, um, Jack, come here, come here, Jack! Oh, I can't shout, you see, he knows I can't shout at him. Still, he'll just lie down by the gate. It's been quite difficult over the past week being laid low. Because it's not in my nature to be lying around. And, uh, it's been a bit frustrating, you know, a bit annoying. Because I like to get things done. Do you know, I think there must be nothing worse than retirement. You know this idea that at a particular age you just stop your work and you retire? If you haven't got something in mind, if you haven't got a project, it must be terrible. Anyway, that's just a thought. Jack, get in. Get in. Don't you dare. I'm just gonna keep him this side of the this side of the gate just until or this side of the post box until I empty the post. Hang on. No. Looks as though there's something in here. Oh. Oh. -ho. I see. Don't you dare move from there. I'm watching you. Okay. Back up there. You're being a naughty boy, taking advantage of your mother's inability to scold you. Now, let's go back up. There we go. So I've actually got uh, two letters in a package here. And uh, let me just have a quick look. Rest my coffee up there. Put my glasses on, which are on my head. My head's a bit swollen, so my glasses. <laughs> I shouldn't make myself laugh. My head's a bit swollen, okay. You know, your head does get a bit swollen sometimes with the cold or whatever. So my glasses feel tight on my head. So here we go. Look, this is an interesting looking wee package. Hmm, I wonder what's in there. Can't open it because I'm rather one-handed at the moment. What is this? Can I, oh, this looks gorgeous. Look at the envelope on that. Aha. Here's something else. Oh, that looks as though it's <laughs> bills or statements or something. Ah. Sorry, this is all this is all rather patched up together. Talking of patched up together, by the way, you know I don't do any work at all on my videos. It's one shoot, one extremely long upload. The uploads for some reason or other are taking about two and a half hours. Imagine that. Um, so I don't do any work at all on them. 
and I was looking last night at some videos on YouTube uh, people vlogging and thinking oh gosh they look so so expertly done you know you know shoot cut shoot cut and, and all beautifully pieced together <laughs> Thing is, I don't think I'd ever get to that point of being able to do that simply because I just don't have the time to dedicate to learning how to do it, you know. <sighs> Beautiful. I'll just take a wee walk in here. Look at this. I must just show you this now because a lot of you gardeners will be familiar with fuchsia. Okay. I'm pointing the camera at a fuchsia shrub which is about 10 foot high. You see that? It's actually squashing out the beech trees on either side of it. I've never seen fuchsia like that before. <sighs> You'd have to excuse me doing these big sighs, but they're actually sighs of just sheer enjoyment of being able to walk through this this beautiful, peaceful, and I am quite assured healing healing, healing place. And you know, all Mother Earth wants to do is heal. Give her half a chance and she will create a healing environment. Though she needs a bit of help now just to start. I'm, I'm looking at Jackie, sat over there looking on the grass, looking towards the road. That's his version of being inside the gate and uh, still keeping an eye on the road. Look. Jack, come this way. <laughs> Just in case he thinks he can scoot through on uh, No. Jack, come here. Look, he's, he's He's far too intelligent. That's Jack's problem. He's too intelligent. Come on now. But he's so lovable, he's such a kind dog. You know there are certain, certain creatures that you just look in their face and you know that they're kind, that there's a deep compassion in them. Sometimes more so than what you'd find in human beings. Mind you, human beings are, are sort of programmed and reared to, to deny their compassion, you know? Terrible. Now I look at the pond from that side. And there's still lots of life on the top of it, look. Little water beetles and... and I was reading a few comments um, about all the colours in this garden. And someone said, you know, the garden approaching winter. <laughs> Today is the 6th of December, right? So let me just tell you, in case you'd forgotten. Uh, um, in 15 days time, 15 days, right? That's two weeks, just over two weeks. It's going to be mid-winter. Right? So it doesn't matter what your calendars say. 
It doesn't matter what all these incredibly intelligent and important men say about when winter happens and when winter comes and all the rest of it. Go out and have a look at the light. It's all about the light. And the sun will hit the very lowest point in its descent on or around the 21st of December. And from that point it begins the ascent, the ascent to Imuk. So I know this is always a contentious subject. There are so many people who will um, <clears throat> deny that this could possibly be winter because it's November or December. But think about the solstice. Same with the summer. It's all about the light. It's not about some man-made calendar. It's not about some Roman emperors, most of whom were out-and-out psychopaths, <laughs> dictating the time that you think you're in, the time that we are in, is this. This is the time. You look up. You look up at the light. Each day it gets a little bit darker. And if you want a good comparison, have a look along the line of videos. All the videos are up there. If you go to the button at the top of the page that just says videos, and go click on there and scroll back until you get to say late January okay which is the last month of winter and then you have a look at the light here and you'll see same with the southern hemisphere you have the southern hemisphere now approaching midsummer We can huff and puff as much as we like, but we cannot change the rotation, the power, the movement, shall we say, the movement of all the planets and the sun and the moon above us. a sense of accomplishment having actually walked this little bit through the gardens and it is only a little bit but I do feel a sense of accomplishment So the trees have have birthed their leaves from Mother Earth. That that's the intention. And all those trees that help to keep the place cool during the summer. And all the beautiful leaves that feed the earth during the winter. There's the Forsythia now just losing the, the last of her leaves. Come on Jack. And the bamboo, the bamboo sheds leaves. Oh, 
Well, I have an ambition now for the next calendar year. I've been thinking deeply about this. My next ambition is to buy a few acres of land. Now I'm hoping and I'm really going to envision this and put it out there into the consciousness but I'm hoping that it'll be not too far away about three acres about another three acres and uh, begin this planting all over again That's what I want to do. So that's going to require me to get into tip-top health and devise a plan. And I shall. Because the important thing is, it's not just to wish for something. Wishing for something is just the very beginning. But to actually put it in your head that it's inevitable. It will happen. The inevitability further planting 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 trees planting another woodland so that's it see what we shall see. As if I save up enough, if I just keep saving and the right opportunity presents itself, you know, there's a certain amount of, of collaboration with the universal consciousness here. You know, maybe a little old, abandoned, half, you know, um, crumbling into the ground old cottage, surrounded by some acres. See, that would be ideal too. Anyway, thoughts, ideas, plans, ambitions. I think ambition in, in this in this respect is a good thing. Because ambition is a lot more determined, isn't it, than a hope or a dream. And I think one has to be very determined. I think that determination is, um, is what changes everything. Anyway, we shall see. Now, Jack, come on. That's it. You've had a wee bit of a, a dander. <sighs> oh, he's being silly now. He says, I'm going to have a good run around. Well, look at Jack. Look at Jack. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Don't make me laugh. <coughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> oh, he's found a squeaker. <laughs> Love him. He's got a lot of energy to burn off, you see, look. Bless him. I best stand out here a wee bit longer just and let him run around.
the joys of life. You know, we have a lot to learn from dogs. Do you know that? Because uh, they expect so little. In fact, they don't really expect anything from life. And they're just full of joy and zest and... That's from last Yule. That's from Yuletide last year. This little Yuletide sausage. <laughs> Funny. Right, okay, now I definitely have to go in, Jack. I might leave you out here for a wee bit longer. Blessings to all.